Joe McKenzie here, your watercolor coach. I have something that I want to share that I've been experimenting with, and it is this contraption. It's a clip-on light for still lifes. It only costs about $15. I got it from Amazon, but the thing that makes it special is it has three different settings. So there's one setting for white light, or what you would call cool or a northern light, uh, one setting for warm, a warm light, and one setting for what they call daylight. And I'm gonna do a demonstration in a minute that you're gonna see where I painted the same apple using the cool light and then using the warm light. And there are reasons why you might wanna use a cool light sometimes and a warm light sometimes. So it's very, very easy to set up, has button controls, uh, comes with its own, uh, light bulb in it so you don't have to buy a special light bulb and um, it costs less than $15 and that included the postage so this is not an expensive thing at all but I think in terms of dealing with color temperature it's going to be really interesting when you see I've, these two apples that I've painted one is definitely cooler in color than the other one and um, so let's roll that wonderful bean footage and you'll see the demonstration all right bye bye All right, so the cool apple is on the left and the warm apple is on the right. So I set up the still life and, um, and press the button for cool light here. Now what we notice mostly about cool colors is that they tend to drift toward the blues and the violets. And the warm colors are gonna be uh, predominantly have oranges or reds in them. And that's really the difference. But what's fascinating to me is that um, when I use the cool light, I can actually see that. So this is the cool apple. I'm doing what I usually do, use as few strokes as possible. And um, yeah, and that's the first pass. Um, and now I'm gonna let that dry and get started on the second apple, which is the warm apple. So I changed the setting on that little lamp. And you can even look and see when the light is cool, uh, the bulb actually looks white. And when the bulb is uh, warm, it looks kind of yellow. So most of the time when we're inside our homes at night, you know, you see that yellow light. You definitely see it if you're driving by someone's home at night. You know, when you look inside, you know how yellow that looks. That's the warm light. That's usually what we have going on in our homes. So now I'm going to switch and do the warm apple. I didn't move the apple in any way. It's in the exact same place it was before. The only thing I changed was the setting on the light so that there were color differences between warm and light. You can see there's a not much <laughs> doesn't look as different now as it did when I was uh, looking at it the first time but this is just the first coat I'm going to go in and do a second coat I'm going to dry it with the hair dryer uh, poor Mr. Henry our rescue collie is going to hate that but he's getting used to it and then I'll put in a second coat so here comes the second coat using as few strokes as possible I squint and I look for those value shapes there's some cadmium red going in there was no cadmium red in that first apple because the cadmium red has quite a bit of um, orange in it. And this is the warmer apple. Okay, so there's the warm apple. And then I'm gonna clean the palette and do the cool apple. And the cool apple has alizarin crimson in it as my primary red, but I also tip it a little bit so it has some blue in it as well. They are almost going into violets, but not quite. See how much cooler that is? But the overall apple, when I'm done with it, will be cooler as well. So nothing's changed except the light source. And the light source depends on, um, you, you know, where, where you have something set up. What I like about this little lamp is that I can control it if I want to. And that's very interesting to me. My studio has north lights, so most of the time there is a cool light going on. There's the setup. The little lamp clips right on the side of the table. And so I can put my subject right underneath it. That is not a real apple. I think I've shared before, I have quite a few fake props that I use because things are perishable. And there's the little manual that came with the, um, with the little light. And I'll put a link below so that you, if you wanna go purchase it, you can. I don't make any money from this. I make no money from my YouTube channel or from any of these suggestions. I just thought um, it might be really interesting if you're exploring temperature the way I am. There's the warm apple on the right, the cool apple on the left. I hope you can see that there's a difference. Okay, so remember to keep the whites of your paper white, your paints wet, mass for value, mix for color. Please join my YouTube channel, and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye-bye.